Hello everybody and welcome back to 5 Tips in 5 Minutes. This week we're looking at gender expression policies. Hostility towards transgender people in the UK and elsewhere is on the rise. And one way for companies to support their transgender employees is to make sure that they feel welcomed and valued and safe. Well, you do it by having a clear, well-publicised policy that's implemented by knowledgeable HR teams and well-supported line managers. Here's my five tips. Tip one, do it now. Don't wait for somebody to come forward and ask for support with changing their gender expression. You might be thinking to yourself, but I haven't got any trans people in my company. If you work in a large company, you've almost certainly got employees who don't identify with one or other binary gender expression. And they may not have come forward because they're not sure it's safe to do so. So producing and promoting a policy that supports people in changing their gender expression demonstrates that you are serious about creating an inclusive, safe workplace for everyone. Tip two is to involve trans voices in creating your policy. You can do this by working with trans employees, by perhaps approaching your LGBTQIA plus employee network for um, advice and guidance with them. I would go out and get some external support for this. If you don't identify as trans yourself or you don't identify as somewhere different on the gender spectrum, bring in somebody who understands it and can help you to create the right policy for your company. Tip three is one that I often use, which is education. Educate everybody. In particular, make sure that the senior team and the HR community are really well versed in trans issues in the workplace. Don't expect line managers or teams of people around a trans colleague to remember the training they might have had a year ago. If somebody comes forward and wants to change their gender expression, provide some top-up training straight away. And don't expect the transitioning employee to provide that training themselves. So once again, bringing in expert support on this is the advisable way to go so that an open and honest conversation can be had on all sides. Tip four is providing a single point of contact. When your transitioning employee is ready to change their gender expression, and remember, this goes at their pace, not yours. So this is when they're ready. Offer them a single point of contact to help with all the logistics. So the name change, the email change, Uh, the gender marker, pensions, any mention of them on the website, have somebody do that for them. Some people will be quite happy to contact all the different departments that this will involve. Others will not be happy at the thought of having to explain themselves many times, possibly to people who haven't had or have forgotten their training and are nonplussed about the whole thing. Tip five, as soon as the change of gender expression is communicated, have their back, monitor it closely, check in with them frequently to see how things are going. If your education has landed well, hopefully everything will be going fine and the person who's transitioned their gender expression will be feeling much happier that they can be themselves at work. Do be on the alert though for any hostile or aggressive behaviour either directly towards the transgender employee or behind their back. And watch out for this from customers as well as from their colleagues. If it happens, don't try to justify or downplay it. Don't allow people to say, well, you know, it's such a sensitive topic and, you know, the the team's finding it really hard to come to terms with. You wouldn't allow people to get away with saying that if it was about hostility towards religious expression or a visible disability. You would treat it as the problematic behaviour that it is. And it's exactly the same with hostility towards gender expression. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.